Hey guys, welcome to our first 2023 Sam's Club haul. We are going to Sam's Club. We are going to stock our pantry, get the fridge right for the new year. So if you are looking to do a little shopping and see what I got and do a little in-store shopping and haul, I got you. Let's jump into this. Before we jump into this video, I want to thank Hungry Root for sponsoring it. And you're probably wondering, who is Hungry Root? Well, I'm going to tell you. Hungry Root is a tech-enabled grocery service delivered right to your door that's personalized to your lifestyle and taste. You start off by taking a short quiz. What do you like to eat? Your dietary needs? Your goals? Hungry Root will then send you weekly deliveries with healthy groceries along with 10-minute recipes. 10 minutes. I love that quick and easy. You can edit your deliveries and choose exactly what you want, which is something I love because I get real tired of making substitutions and canceling stuff that I did not know about. And then you're able to mix and match the groceries you have from your fridge or solely rely on the recipes they provide for you, which I love because who likes to think about what you're going to make some nights? Because some nights I just don't have it. So there's simple, fast recipes for easy meal planning. And the thing is the recipe supports leads to fewer trips to the store and less food waste. And you guys know that's one of my goals for this year to stop the store pop-ins and the foods are so good. It's such a great selection. As you see, my kids loved it. Everything is super simple, super tasty, and good quality products that I feel comfortable and confident giving to my own family. And everything came super well packed. And I was just really excited because I was able to try things I never thought to try. So for the first 100 people to use my code, Daniela, you will get 40% off your first grocery order with Hungry Root. Use the link in the show notes and go or go to HungryRoot.com and use code Daniela to get 40% off. Look at this sandwich. Mm. Yeah, it's everything. Look at this. It's a modular one so you could set it up. And you can, this is nice. I don't know, this might be a little too big for our living room. But for a thousand, this is really pretty too. This media console table, 700. Damn. Look at this. This is nice. Two, four, six, eight. If I had this, if my living room was a little bit set up different or my dining table, this would be really nice. I like the fabric too, it's really pretty. So I'm trying to do as much showing as possible. I might have to voice over a lot because for some reason, Sam's Club pops off with the volume on their radio. So anyways, let me show you some other stuff. All their Christmas stuff is marked down, but we're just kind of scoping out, seeing what it is. Look at all them candy canes. You guys were doing Three Kings Day, which is probably today when you see this video. Here they have Roscas here, and they have the three little babies. These are fourteen seventy eight, which are these are a big one too. I think we might actually get ours from a bakery this year, but it's always an option. Always get the little things of avocado here. They go a long way. I think I'm gonna get these non bites for Rhea because she likes these. I think actually I have non still left in the fridge. But she could have it with that chicken that came in. Let's see. Buffalo style dip, spinach dip. That fried ranch pickle, pickle dip thing is delicious. So, so far just the avocado. A cheese macaroni. That looks kind of good. This looks good. I might get that. The baked barbecue beans with beef brisket for a side for a meal. I actually made baked beans the other day for New Year's Eve and the kids loved them. They never had them before. I love them. I grew up on that. Chicken tortilla soup. They got tamales. Mini tacos. Trying to not have too many temptations out there for Leo as well, though. So, what else do they have? Caramel flan. Yo oh, they have those Cleo yogurt bars. 1028 for those. That's a pretty good deal. Super Omega squares. I try not to eat a lot of these things. First off, a lot of the season stuff irritate my stomach. And... A little, I mean, you can really go crazy on those, so I try to stay away. I might actually get string cheese for the kids. Scan and go savings, $8.98, and we have a scan and go. I love getting these when I come here because it's an easy meal to have in the fridge. Um, the diced pork, they also have sun dried tomato chicken, and dewy stuffed pork. Oh, Leo, look at that, and dewy stuffed pork chops. Do you want to try some of these? The and dewy sausage stuffed pork chops? I like them. Must have been my other husband. Huh? You know, I gotta get these because these are the best. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They, right babe, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs make eating chicken 
towel. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to get some of these markdown ones and throw them in the freezer. We are having a lot of problems with that scan and go app, and it's not working. Leo said garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. It's not working for us, and it's, it's really frustrating. So, um, yeah, just trying to find some stuff for the kids for lunches. They go back to school, and then Rhea has a lot of uh, things coming up, and Becky has a lot of cheer camp coming up. So, I'm trying to stay stocked and have stuff for them to eat on the go and then they're gonna have friends over so it's just a really busy next couple weeks you guys want french toast sticks okay so i'm gonna get these for leo these are 12 dollars keto waffle breakfast sandwiches so we can have you want to try those all right i wanted to show you guys because i've seen this in their ad but drunk elephant is here at sam's club this is their Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This is for 40. And then this is their Electrolyte Water Facial Mask for 42. So um, I really want it, but I really don't need it. So uh, we don't use CeraVe, we use Cetaphil. And that's actually on sale at the Costco. Have you guys ever used Rock? Is that any good? I tried this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I did not like it. But this Cetaphil, that is my favorite moisturizer ever. Oh look, they have Stila, the um, eyeliner and mascara. That's a pretty good deal. Um, Olay, this is probably a good deal, 40 bucks. Hey my friends, we are back from the grocery store. So a little update with the app. The app was a little temperamental, I'm not gonna lie. But we were able to walk out knowing our, what I did like was that you were able to see your total. Our total was $376. But I feel like we got some good stuff. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you everything and kind of go through some prices as well because I feel like we did get a good amount of things for some good prices. So let me share with you what we picked up. So first things first is some paper towels. These were, I believe, $18. And then we got two cases of Doc, Dr. Pepper Zero, which was $9, which was a really good price. So we were able to pick both of those up. Now, look, you know, I love all the Zero Sugar Pops. That's just my thing. If you don't like them, that's okay too. All right, so everything is laid out between here and over there. So we're just gonna start off with the table first. Now, I will say this, just a quick disclaimer, I do have kids. Um, it is very busy. Rhea has speech and she's in a, uh, she's doing like a play. So she's at school till like seven, eight o'clock at night. And then she's also gone all day on Saturdays. Becky has cheer camp and uh, Sophia has some stuff going on with her own school as well. And then the girls have friends over. So I like to have things that are kind of quick for them to kind of throw in between like practices or Rhea can take them with her to the school because they have microwaves and stuff like that. So um, some things are a little bit more for convenience, but for the fact is, is this is real life and it is what it is. And this should last us about a month, okay? So I got the girls some Hot Pockets. These are just, again, a quick, easy thing, like in between school and the next activity. Um, these were $11. I got some French Toast Sticks. These are $8. And I got these for Leo. These are the Keto Waffle Breakfast Sandwiches. These were $12, a little bit expensive, but it is a keto item, so you tend to pay a little bit more for that. And we were just trying to make sure that he is living his best low carb ish life and having some things that are a little bit easier and convenient for him to eat. So um, these are a chicken sausage and cheddar sandwich. So I'll let you guys know how he likes them, but these are a new find for us as well. Um, I got some mashed potatoes. These are just an easy side. Um, I always have like a protein like cooked up or defrosted. So to find a little bit of a side that, you know, the girls and Leo can eat, um, you know, this is a good thing. And these were like a quick scan deal too. And they were only $5. And um, even though Leo does, I do kind of keep him on the lower-ish carbs. He's still able to have mashed potatoes and stuff like that. I just make sure that I portion them out for him. Um, I got myself some blueberries. These were $5. Um, I'm allowed to have pretty much any fruit, but um, for certain days I have more berries and I don't like strawberries or blackberries that much. Um, and blueberries seem to be the only thing that I don't get tired of and they don't affect my stomach too much. So pick those up. Um, I got some lettuce mix because I've been having salads every day and I've been making my own dressing as well. So you have a lookout, so I'll share that with you guys. Um, I've been doing just like my own vinaigrette style dressing and it's been really yummy. Um, I got two things of, this was like $5. 
I got two things of these mini cucumbers because I love to snack on these. These were $3, but I love cucumbers in general, but these are such a great substitute for like potato chips and stuff like that. I am going to be doing a swap this for that video and I'll go into more detail, but these are a must for me. I got two packs and they were $3 each. Um, I got some bread for $3.50 for the girls for school. String cheeses is another one Leo and can eat as well. These were $8 and they were another one of those like instant savings. For some reason, my nose just started running as soon as I started recording. Love that. But yeah, Leo can eat these and so can the kids. And just easy. Um, I told you guys about the green beans. These were $6.50, but I eat green beans almost every day. I generally enjoy them. So this is a great little find for me. Um, got some vitamins for the kids, um, some just gummy vitamins, um, and then some immune vitamins just to make sure that they are, you know, hitting, getting all their, you know, mi micronutrients, all their vitamins and, um, making sure we're keeping up with their immune system because we ain't trying to get sick again because we had that flu in November and it knocked me down. So I do not want that again. So these are for the kids. I cannot take any type of gummy gummy based vitamin i can't do anything with gelatin it just jacks my stomach up so i have to be an adult and get like the boring stuff but yeah uh, i got some chihuahua cheese for leo and the girls this was eight dollars he likes to have it as a snack and stuff so got that i am dairy free so i don't have anything with cheese or anything like that um another one of the quick things for the kids again these should last us a month month and a half um, just like pantry things to have and like when Rhea's friends come over as well like Rhea usually have and the Sophia and Becky will have like a couple kids over at once and I which I love I love having the house full of kids I do not mind it at all and I always want them to eat but like ordering pizzas and stuff like that can get really really pricey so I've been making sure that I have like these types of things in the and like either in the freezer or in the pantry so they can just grab something and eat it just saves me money in the long run because I never want any of these kids to go home hungry and I always want to make sure they eat and they feel comfortable and there's a little bit of an assortment for them so um yeah and they like it too they always know there's something here for them um we got these slider classic things uh Sophia wanted them for her and her friends and these were $11. Cheez-Its, these were, I think, $10 for 45 pouches. That's for school lunches. I hide these in my bedroom as well because they'll snack on them. Um, these are some Belvita uh, crackers. These are Leo likes these to have in the morning with his coffee. Um, he gets the blueberry ones. I believe these were $8 on instant like scan rebate. And these are delicious. These are the 100 calorie special K. They're kind of like a pop tart, but like thinner. And they are so, 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 so good. Um, very light, very airy. And I'm telling you, they're just delicious. And these were also, these were $10. So just little things. They don't take all of this in their lunch, but then they have a variety of stuff to take, you know? Because, you know, I don't know what it is. They come home every time, three o'clock starving anyways. Um, I got some blueberry muffins um just to have you know the kids can have for breakfast in the morning and stuff what we end up doing is usually just splitting them and i could have one of these for um when i'm like walking out to the gym so i can have half i can cut this in half and then use this as like a, a form of a like pre-workout snack for myself so picked these up so be pretty good and then i got some chips i got the limon chips and some lays uh we're having uh like some family over and stuff like that for Three Kings Day. So I want to have some snacks. Leo likes the popcorn. And then we also got the tortillas as well. Okay, so over here we have the Kloss and Pickles. I get these every time. Rhea loves these. I like, I'm a, I'm a big pickle fanatic as well. So I snack on them all day. And then when it starts to get low, Rhea actually dumps pickles in here. Or I'm sorry, carrots. And then eats the carrots and pickle juice. She loves them. They are like her favorite. Um, I got these chicken wings for Leo. They were $1.98 a pound, so $12.50 for these. Uh, pick these up. So he he also just got a smoker. So maybe he'll smoke them. I don't know. I just feel like it's a nice little thing, and him and Becky really enjoy them. I was out of avocado oil, and that's all I use to... I don't really cook my food in it, per se, but for Leo and the kids, I use avocado oil, and it's probably the best form. If you're... My cousin's a nutritionist, so she was telling me like, to use avocado oil or ghee, 
and there's another one she recommended but she said to stay away from like canola oils or she said extra virgin olive oil is really good but you got to be careful with some of the other oils because it's basically like motor oil and that kind of scared me i got two things of boneless skinless chicken thighs these are actually marked down i'm just going to throw them in the freezer really quickly and then you know have them in there i have a couple on hand but for this price you could not beat it you know 870 and i got that one for 10 and I eat chicken like every day, so I, I'll show you guys. I'm going to do a meal prep coming up because I don't think some people have seen them, but I make mine with a little bit of lemon pepper, and it's scrumptious. Asparagus, another one of my favorite veggies to get in. I do mine kind of a Greek style with a lot of garlic and fresh lemon and stuff like that. I'll share that in a video as well, but these were $5, so it wasn't a bad deal, and they're the nice thick ones. They're not the real creamy ones, so I love them. I got this smoked sausage. This was another thing. This was on sale for like $7. And it's like a two-pack, right? And I'm going to break it up and freeze it. And I like the two slice, the two like sausage links. And I like to do these with like crock pot meals. I have one where you can do the smoked sausage with pierogies. And another one where you do like a smoked sausage with like a potato. And it's just an easy crock pot thing to have. And, you know, if I'm busy and everybody has stuff going on, at least we have a hot dinner going. And it's really good. So um, picked that up. As always, I always pick up the El Pastor meat. I'm going to have this for dinner probably tomorrow. I'm going to throw this in the fridge for the night. But it's really, really good. You just go ahead and fry it in the pan and... That's all you have to do is serve it up with some tortillas, add some cilantro, maybe do some rice on the side. Really good and a really easy meal for you and your family. They do have the 93% lean ground beef. So I cook this down and then I drain it. And so it's basically like 97% lean. Um, and then I have this with my one, I have one fattier choice of meat per day. And I can do 93% or above. I prefer 96 just because it always messes with my stomach. But um, the price per pound was $4.78. So it was 15 bucks. And this I thought was a really good deal because usually 96% lean ground beef is like $6.99 to $7.99 a pound. So I thought this was a really good deal and I like the little packs. So I just break them up and throw them in the freezer. So for the um, Three Kings Day, I'm going to do, uh, I'm making a soup for everybody and it's going to be a carne sojugo. So it's basically like a m meat and broth soup is basically what it is so um one of the ingredients is bacon so for this four pack was ten dollars you get the little like half pound packs at the grocery store right now it's six so and leo likes bacon so this is like a no-brainer so i picked that up i picked up some more cucumbers just for like salads and stuff and i'm also i also make a um cucumber salad with like a red wine vinegar and it's really good so and i use it as a snack and these were $3. This is the avocado spread I get. It's like $8 or something. But um, I have some avocados, like fresh ones that I'm going to go through. But these are always good to have. And this is just plain avocado. I don't get um, the guacamole mix because it has tomatoes in it. And it turns out I have an inflam infl inflammatory response to um, any nightshades. So um, I stay away from all the guacamoles. But just pure avocado. Um, I got some olive oil nonstick spray. I was using Pam and my cousin was like, girl, it's canola oil. And I was like, oh, my bad. I just use it as like a nonstick spray for the pan. So this was five bucks. Um, the Members Mark Unsweetened Almond Milk. I have that with my cereal at night. That was $5. They had absolutely no eggs. Um, I love Gain. The Natural Gain or Original Gain, whatever it's called. Love the way it smells on clothes. And I don't use any liquid fabric softener anymore just because it was ruining my clothes and I use these pebbles and it works like a charm. This was $11. And then I got a bag of limes and a bag of lemon just for cooking and stuff like that. Lemon water, lime water, whatever you want to do. These were $3 each. I got a big thing of carrots um, for the kids as well because they like to eat those in opposed to, you know, chips and stuff like that. They pack these a little thing of like um, a ranch or something for lunch and they absolutely love them. So honey, that was $378. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to put up all these groceries and it's one o'clock. So it's time for me to eat. So I'm going to hurry up and get my stuff done and get some food in my belly because I'm a little hungry. But thank you guys for shopping with me. And if you guys were interested in checking out Hungry Root, I'm going to leave a link down below. I absolutely loved 
that whole idea that you can basically do your meal prepping, your grocery shopping, your recipes all in one, and it was completely catered to you, and it's really great ingredients for a really great price. So I'll leave a link down below so you can get your hands on your own, take the quiz, figure out exactly what it is you need, and you are going to be pleasantly surprised. So I will see you all on the next one, and yeah, I'm out of here. Bye, friends.